All right, all the kids are welcome to go back to children's church this morning. In John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. That's an exclusive statement by our Lord. And that exclusive statement that he makes is actually quite politically incorrect in the day and age that we live, is it not? But think about the, the, the music that the Lord has given this morning and the words that uh, he's put on Kit's heart this morning. He is the only Savior, the only one who is worthy to be worshipped. He is the only God, the one true and living God. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the Lord. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. There are no other gods besides him. There's one God, and it's him. It's our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And for you as his church, this is his word on my heart for you today. We, as the body, must be prepared to stand for John 14, 6. Because the world today is saying that anything so exclusive has to be an error. There can't just be one way. The teaching of the day is that always, all roads lead to Rome, while well, always lead to the same God. We all are using different names. You know, they say Allah, one says Buddha. Hey, listen, it isn't that way. It's the name of Jesus that is above every other name. There is one God. All the other gods are false gods. There is no other God. They are nothing. Wood, stone, rock, the mental inventions of men, they are nothing. You see, to say such a thing in our world today would be pretty provocative, wouldn't it? But that's exactly what we must say. And the time is coming when we must be able to stand upon that in our own assurance of the truth. And the Lord would have us to be assured. He wants us to know the truth and then walk therein. To speak the truth. Now, it isn't that we are bashing people alongside the head with the truth, but you know what? The truth will do that all by itself. You could have a child read John 14, 6, and because of the truth that it is, and the Holy Spirit's power in it, it will uh, hit people alongside the head, even at a child's voice speaking it, because it is a confrontational truth. It confronts the evil that has been leading people astray since the beginning. False gods, false worship, some other way than the one true God. Christianity is exclusive. There's one way. Are you prepared to share an exclusive gospel? You see, I have many times heard people say, I know they're searching in their own way, or they're on their own spiritual journey, uh, they're on their own spiritual uh, search, and that's true. People are searching all around us, and they desire the truth. But you know, it's difficult sometimes to find it. How long did you search? 
how many guideposts did Jesus put along your road to point to him? And point to him, and point to him, and pretty soon you go, you know, there's a lot of signs pointing to Jesus. And in your heart you know it's the truth. How many times has he told us, and now we as God's people are to be those signposts in this world, pointing to the truth of Jesus Christ. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 7. <clears throat> 